What's up everybody, I'm Jesse Showalter and in this episode, I'm gonna be sharing with you my top five tips for optimizing your websites to make them really fast, really speedy, Tip number one, optimize your images. Make sure that you're using the right images, the right size images, the right format images, and you are doing all that you can to keep them small and snappy. If you don't need transparency, don't use a PNG use a JPEG. If the image is gonna be a background image, you're gonna have things on top of it, it's never gonna be seen really crispy and specifically, then maybe make it really low quality. You wanna to try to keep your images under 150 kilobytes for your really large images, and the smaller you can make it, the better. You should never have 5,000 by 5,000 five megabyte JPEGs trying to load up on your website. It's just unnecessary. Make sure you're running it through something like Image Optum so it pulls all the extra metadata out of there that you don't need. That takes up a lot of excess weight. Just make sure your images are snappy and quick and light. Tip number two, reduce the amount of HTTP requests that are on your site. If you don't know what an HTTP request is, that is your website calling out to a server, grabbing the information, and then bringing it back and delivering it. This is every image, every style sheet, every JavaScript file. Everything you put into your website has to go out to the server, make that request, bring it back, and then display it. And the more times you have to do it, the slower the website will load. It's super crucial that you try to minimize the amount of requests that you make on each individual page and throughout your site as a whole. Less is more. A few tips on how to reduce the amount of HTTP requests you're making is reduce the amount of imagery that you're using. Try using text instead. Try using some sort of CSS preprocessor like SAS or less so that you don't have multiple style sheets, but they all get combined into one style sheet or one JavaScript file so that it doesn't have to go make multiple trips back and forth. I want to take a quick moment to put some names up on the screen. These are all the people that support this channel and they've done that by becoming one of my members. Members get access to all sorts of premier content like behind the scenes, ask me anything, live streams each month, as well as access to a private gold members discord server where they get to interact with me every single day, ask lots of questions and get lots of support feedback and answers. If you're interested in becoming a member and joining this crew of amazing people, check the link down in the description and join me as one of my members. Tip number three was already mentioned, but it's to use text instead of images wherever you can. It's much faster for the browser to load text than it is images. And so if you have a blog list that has all the different articles, do you need an image on every single one of those? Maybe not. I feel like it's the easy way out to constantly just load more imagery because an image speaks a thousand words. But if you can find a few words that speak a thousand words, that's better than an image that takes a long time to speak all those words. Tip number four. Tip number four is to minify your scripts and your CSS. You have CSS files. If you have multiple of them, like I already mentioned, use a preprocessor turn them into one. If you have multiple JavaScript files, turn them into one. But once you take all of those files and turn them into one, make sure you then minify and concatenate all of those files. What is minifying and concatenating? Well, that is to take all of that beautiful CSS that you have and shove it into this unlegible format that computers can read, but humans cannot. It doesn't matter if humans can read it. As long as the computer can and then it spits out the same exact result, why not save yourself thousands of lines of code with space and brackets and all that stuff that's not needed, it makes the file smaller. Even if it's a little bit smaller, every little bit counts. So minify and concatenate your stuff. Tip number five and the last one on the list is to use a CDN, otherwise known as a content delivery network. This is something like Amazon S3 or Cloudflare or dozens of other solutions that are out there. All these CDNs are our supercharged steroid induced servers that will serve up all of your content and assets faster than your shared hosting or whatever it is that you're using, I promise it will be faster. Imagine your Amazon packages being delivered to you in a Ferrari. They are guaranteed to get there quicker, just like I guarantee you that CDN will get you your stuff quicker. Just do it.
Okay, quick bonus tip before we go is to check the performance of your website using free online tools. The one that I use all the time is Google PageSpeed Insights. It's free to use, you pop your domain in, it'll give you a grade and it'll give you some recommendations on things you should fix right now. So check out that tool or some of the other tools that I'll link down in the description to help you analyze the performance of your website. Well, that's it, that's the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. I do lots of videos about design and development and tips and tricks just like this one, so maybe stick around. If you have any questions, leave those down in the comments and check the description for all the helpful links on website optimization. Hope you guys are having an amazing week designing amazing things, making amazing things, and speeding up your websites. I'll see you in the next one.